first of all, in identical twins, monozygotic twins, the, prevalent, the occurrence of autism in the second baby after having diagnosed the first one to be autistic is as high as 75%. So that's not true. If they are dizygotic twins, non-identical fraternal twins, if one has autism, the chance the other one will have autism is 25 to 30%. But what is perplexing or paradoxical, if they are not twins, if the first baby has autism, the chance that the second baby may have autism, will have autism is 5 to 10%. But remember, the dizygotic twin, the non-identical fraternal twin is like a sibling. Why should it be 30%? It should be 5% or 10%. That raises a lot of speculation. The speculation is, on top of the genetic risk, something else happened in that pregnancy that affected, increased the chance of the second baby's twin B's chance of autism to 30%. That produces tremendous excitement about the intrauterine environment, the fetal environment. Was that baby exposed to some toxin that the mother ingested? Right? The speculation. But it is believed now, it is possibly the arrival of testosterone in the intrauterine development that increased the chance of that second baby becoming more autism brain, too much testosterone brain, but that's a theory. It has not been conclusively proven.